Hello and welcome to the Smarter Tech Podcast. My name is Nick, the EMF Guy Pino. I'm back with part two of my deep dive into light, artificial light, natural light, how to block the artificial one, how to have more of the good thing, and the man CEO of Blue Blocks. And I would say, I would call you a light expert, at least compared to me. You know a lot. You read the science. You develop the products. You test them out. You have a lot of professional athletes, biohackers, uh, from soccer moms, soccer dads, and everyone in society using your products. So you also have the real world experience and testimonials. So I like that about you. You have all the evidence there to show that these things work. So Andy, welcome back. Thanks for having me back. Awesome. So uh, we're just a few minutes from part one. Of course, we're recording this in batch. What do you expect? But most people have been waiting two weeks for that. So in this episode, in, in part one, if you if you have missed this one, please listen to it. If you're new to artificial light and blue light, we talked about what's the problem with it. What what does it what does it do? And the the idea is this: if you're exposed to blue light at the wrong time and with the wrong intensities from artificial sources, it will mess up your sleep and circadian rhythm and the consequences are for your entire health. My question for you, Andy, and it's a very wide one because there's a lot of solutions here, but where should one get started when it comes to reducing the impact of artificial light on their life? Um, do you start with light bulbs? Do you consider blue blockers? And like, I, I guess we could start with, you, I, you said that you had a lot of tips that can be done uh, very rapidly and for free. So maybe let's start with the free solutions. What do you recommend people should do to kind of ch start changing their diet of light, if you will? Absolutely. And it all comes down to getting more natural and less yeah. artificial, you know? So, um, you know, you, you, you can even tell before I go into it, you can even tell that the more artificial light you get, the worse you feel because look at the winter months, there's more darkness outside. So what happens more lights go on and how do we feel? more anxious, depressed, sad, and, and seasonal affective disorder kicks in. So um, more artificial light and less natural light is really bad for your mental health and, and your, your biological health. So let's let's start with some of the free things people can do. So the first thing you can, can do, and, and we mentioned this in, in the last episode, that we have these circadian rhythms, and we need to entrain those circadian rhythms correctly in line with the Earth cycle around the sun. And to do that, to entrain it correctly, you need to watch the sunrise every morning, okay? Free thing to do. If you can't see the sunrise, not a problem. Just be out at the time the sun rises so the frequencies of light that are present in the environment at that time are sending the correct messages through your eyes and skin to your um, master clock system to say, this is the correct time of the day. This is the morning. Let's increase our cortisol levels so we feel active. Let's increase dopamine levels so we feel good. And let's increase serotonin levels so we've got enough of it later on in the evening to produce melatonin from tryptophan in the absence of blue light. So very, very important, free thing to do. Two minutes is fine in the morning. If you're like me and want to build melanin levels, which is um, like a, a, a natural sunscreen for later on in the day, which I need in Australia because it's hot all the time. Yeah. I stay out for a lot longer in the mornings as well, but just a couple of minutes. I know people have lives um, and they need to get on with them, but just two minutes, first light you see in the morning, free thing to do. Question. Another great- Sorry to yes. interrupt. What if it's cloudy, right? That's people... fine as well. Yeah, yeah that's cool. fine as well because the light is still the same, right? Yeah. So the, the, the visible light will pass through the clouds. Yes, it will be a bit dimmer, um, so you're probably not likely to get the, the same jump start you would if it was a full sunny day, um, but maybe stay out for longer. When it's cloudy, I'm typically out there for a lot longer. Um, but yeah, it is a dimmer form of light, um, unfortunately, but it will still send the correct message yeah. to your circadian rhythm. Awesome. Because the worst thing you can do, right, is if you put artificial light on first thing in the morning, that frequency of light stays the same no matter what. It's still the same brightness, it's still the same radiance, still the same lumens, whatever it may be. And that temperature of that light and the composition of that artificial light is very similar to what the sun gives out at solar noon. So if we're doing that every single day, our body's going to think that it's solar noon and we're going to miss out on all the benefit, beneficial hormonal and neurotransmitter 
um, releases and suppressions that should happen from seeing that morning light. So whether it's dim or not from cloud or, or rain or whether it's, you know, you can't actually see the sunrise, um, it really doesn't make a huge amount of difference. It's still going to send that correct message that this is morning sunlight, both in visible and invisible frequencies. So easy thing to do, right? And coupled with sun breaks throughout the day, you know, the, the unhealthy buggers that are in the, uh, in the office that go out and smoke on smoke breaks in the morning and afternoon, they get natural light, even though they're probably destroying their lungs. Um, but you can go out as well, you know, just even if you just say, oh, yeah, I'm going on a smoke break and don't smoke, um, or just say, I'm going for a, a, get a coffee, I'm going to have five minute break and just go outside um and, and let your skin and eyes absorb that light because then that's like almost a check-in your circadian rhythm's checking in with the sun and it's like oh it's 10 a.m now oh it's 3 p.m now and the correct hormonal processes can continue on um sunset is also very important there's a massive spike of blue light about 20 minutes before the sun sets the highest spike in blue light throughout the whole day and not a lot of people know that really? um, and it starts a decrescendo effect where when there's that massive spike of blue light that's taken in through the eyes, the body is like, wow, blue light has now peaked. That means it's going to basically plummet to nothing in the next sort of 30 minutes. And we can then start um, you know, decreasing cortisol at the same rate and then start uplifting the melatonin production. When I was in Sri Lanka a couple of years ago, which was the last time I could travel outside of Australia, um, I actually did it a test on a spectrometer um, 40 minutes before the sunset um, and 20 minutes after, and I measured it every 10 minutes. And the, 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 the massive spike in blue light occurred about 20 minutes before both nights that I tested it. Um, and then it just plummeted down to nothing. So this theory is, is, is correct. Um, it's not been studied, which is really interesting, but when I've tested it on my um, light spectrometer, this is what happens. It's, it's a massive spike. So if you can see the sunset, Fantastic. You know, you can you can do that. Um, and that really helps as well. So there's there's some free things there to free things to manage artificial light is you mentioned before that a lot of these um, laptops and, and computer monitors now have night mode on them. Um, Flux, I think, and, and Iris are two free or free ish softwares you can install yep. as well. But I don't think there's too much need unless you're looking at reducing flicker to use you know, potentially Iris is better than Flux. Um, but a lot of these, like, you know, uh, Macs and, and laptops, they come with anti-blue light technology in them now. They're marketed as night shift mode. But if you had those on, on night shift mode without blue light glasses on, there is, there is still blue light coming from them and you're going to have a hard time sleeping in the evening. So I typically turn my phone to night shift mode during the day, as well as my laptop screens. So the blue light is, is filtered down a little bit and the hues of reds and oranges are, are more pronounced, which are more restorative colors of light as, as well. Um, sort of semi-free tip here as well is if someone owns a salt lamp, um, get that next to your laptop as well. The, the, obviously the, um, the, the, the sort of ion release is, is good as well from an anecdotal standpoint, but also the color of light is that orange, pink, red, which balances the blue, right? Yeah. So the problem with blue light during the day from your laptops isn't so much the blue light. It's the fact that it's on its own in isolation, whereas the blue light during the day from the sun is balanced by the other colors, the reds, the restorative colors. So any cellular damage blue light from the sun causes, which it does because it's a high energy frequency um, you know, EMF, the blue light, it causes cellular damage, but the red light in the sun heals that damage simultaneously. So it's that net neutral effect. Whereas when you're looking at your phone and laptops and TVs, you've got all the blue light coming at you and none of the restorative healing red light. And that's why there's a, a big market for red light therapy devices now um, that, that's on the market, because these bring red light back into your back into your life. Another free thing to do is you can turn your iPhone screen red. OK, now I've written a blog on this or um, you can Google it. I'm sure you'll be able to find it, Nick. Just like you type in a YouTube tutorial on my YouTube brilliant. channel. So I can. I so can yeah, definitely that. link yeah. that. Yeah. So that's amazing. Turn your iPhone screen red and then in the evenings post sunset, just triple click the shortcut key and you're getting no blue light. So you can, you know, if you're sat in a dark room on your smartphone, you, you, you aren't going to be like impacting. This. That's the one. So Nick's triple got it. Click. That's what. How easy that is, right? 
exactly yeah it's a, it's a neat trick and uh for me i keep it most of the time in 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 the red space and anything that you've mentioned by the way for people that are uh, maybe graphic designers or you can always switch back to the real colors just to assess colors but most of the time if you're taking emails or writing what what's going to happen is this it, it happened for everyone i told uh to uh, everyone that i ever told to get a blue light filter on their computer and kind of dim it down a little bit you can never go back to the old ways after a few days uh, because it, you you don't realize how bright it used to be and how it give, is giving you eye strain. And it's true for a lot of things where after, but but this thing is really dramatic. After three days, you cannot go back to your old screen. And, and I think that's, I, I don't know why, but probably the brain tunes out all this intensity at one point. So you're able to concentrate, but when you, you dim it down, you go to the orange color a little bit more, even during the day, if I put flux or iris on, I'm very orange during the day. And I remember I go to Starbucks or a local cafe and people are like, what's wrong with your screen, dude? <laughs> and I explain it to people and uh, people are very open-minded about this. And I find that most of them tell me they have eye strain or, you know, I have a hard time concentrating at the computer. One thing that did it did something marvelous for me, and I know that's jumping ahead a, a little bit, but I want to mention that when I use the orange screen on Iris, it helped a little bit with my ability to concentrate. But when I talked to Dr. Ben Lynch, uh, who I interviewed for uh, my course, Electropollution Fix, with Brian Hoyer, uh, he told me, Nick, the best thing I've done for my health in the last year is to get the yellow glasses during the day. And prior to that point, I had never tried the yellow glasses during the day. I'm like, well, I already have a blue light screen of the software, at least a software version. So is it really useful? And I tried these on, and in the first hour, I felt it. I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, I can read on the screen a little bit better. My eyes are relaxed. And after a week or so, I tried going with my regular glasses that are right here. Hold on a sec for the dramatic effect. And I was like, oh, my God, no, I cannot do this. So I went back to the yellow glasses. So that's one way again we talk, we talked you talked about uh, testing it out for yourself i cannot go back and now i look like this if you catch me in the coffee shop or even uh video gaming on the computer that i do occasionally with my brother always always on even though i don't see the real colors it really calms me down and just i don't know like i'm not able to go back so do use everything that Andy talked about, but for me, the yellow blockers really did something profound during the day. It's, it's maddening. Yeah. I cannot go back to normal now and just have normal glasses. I have to it's be true. weird, but yeah, it's, it's true. It's so true. And um, I, I remember talking to, to, to Dr. Ben Lynch about the glasses. He, um, he was, um, you know, candid enough to, to come, come and, and buy that, buy all the glasses him, himself, which was fantastic. And, then he dropped me a note um, saying, oh, I've, I've, I've literally about sort of 10 minutes after purchase them saying, oh, I've purchased the clear glasses. Um, you know, have I got the right ones? And I, I was like, well, what are you looking to achieve? And, and he explained what he was looking to achieve. And, you know, there's a place for the clear ones. Trust me, there, there is. And I explained the difference. But, you know, I said, the, the serious of biohackers out there and people that are wanting to really, really optimize their light management during the day, you're going to benefit so much more from the summer glow, the yellow lenses. And I explained why. And um, I said, look, let me, let me send you a pair as well. Like you've, you've spent all this money buying these products that I'll, I'll give you a pair of the yellow ones to, to try in your script um, and give them a go. And, and literally about three weeks later, he was just like, yeah, this is game changing. Like I'm so, so glad I tried these and the, the clear ones are great if I'm on the computer for maybe just a, a little bit of time. But when I'm doing like long, long days and, and things like that, then yeah, these, these are game changing. And every time I see him release a video now on his Facebook or Instagram, um, he's, he's in his yellow glasses and yeah. I'm just like, yes, you're still doing it, Ben. And, um, yeah, no, he's, um, doing so well with those and it's, it's so good to hear. And, you know that you know i sort of mentioned these these free hacks but but there are products you can use as well and again yeah. caveat they don't need to come from blue blocks there's some other great companies out there like we do red light therapy juve does red light therapy both brilliant companies we do blue light glasses raw optics do blue light glasses yeah. again both fantastic companies i know the founders of both those companies very well and we're all here to help um so it really comes down to personal preference in in my opinion um but you know during during the day 
as I've mentioned, there's, there's the yellow glasses and there's the clear. Now the clear filter down blue light by between sort of 10, 30% um, in general across those, um, across various companies. Ours are around about the 30% mark. Um, and what they do is they, they sort of reduce the intensity of the blue light that's passing through your eyes. So you're not getting so much of it. You know, maybe you've got just sore, sore eyes during the day after a long day in the computer and you don't need the full sort of yellow protection. The clears then are great for that. And you wear them just at your computer or on your phone or walking around an office environment. Um, the yellows, they block around about 50 to 60 percent of the blue light but what they do which is very clever is from 400 to 450 nanometers which is where the most intense blue light is it completely eradicates it yeah. and it only leaves blue light in from 400 to 495 nanometers which is less energetic so your eyes feel so like more soothed you feel more relaxed you feel more zen um and the the, the, the color of the lens actually um stimulates um better mood as well they've tested these glasses on people with seasonal affective disorder and found that people that wear these this yellow specific yellow tint also report an, an increase in um positive mood as well so they're great for the winter as, as well um but what i also like to caveat as well is blue light glasses during the day aren't enough on their own you also need more red light in your environment and more natural light so balance the spectrum with um, with red light bulbs, maybe a salt lamp, more sunlight, um, and then you're in, in for a winner. So, you, you know, you've got these glasses that reduce that artificial blue light down, bring some red light into the environment as well. And then you, you're kind of simulating, even though you can't get close to mimicking it, sunlight. So your circadian rhythm is just a bit more calm and less energetic and all over the place. And then the light needs change throughout the day, right? So when the sun sets, think about it ancestral always think about everything ancestrally would they have seen blue light of any great degree no there would have been maybe some some light from the moon or from um the stars but we've seen that this only impacts monthly cycles rather than daily cycles mm -hmm. so there's no real um impact in that kind of light because of its low lux level doesn't impact circadian rhythms and what would our ancestors would have had they would have had campfires torches which is red and orange light and when you look at the um, melanopic disruption zone, which is between 400 and 550 nanometers, that's all of the blue light and a lot of the green spectrum. Red light doesn't in impact um, melatonin production and it doesn't stimulate melanopsin, which is the blue light photoreceptors in the skin and the eyes. So after sunset, we need to try and get an environment that mimics as closely as possible our ancestors sat around a campfire. And to do that, you have to block 100% of light between 400 and 550 nanometers, which is what our Sleep Plus glasses do. And you put them on after sunset and you'd wear them until you're ready to go to bed. And that is usually between about sort of two to four hours from when you put them on. Um, you'll get more sleep and want to go to bed earlier, probably in the winter because the sun will set earlier and you'll probably stay up a little bit later in the summer, but that's fine. Sleep is seasonal. Don't stress about the eight hours of sleep. It might be six hours in the summer and 10 in the winter. As long as it averages out, I'm sure it's fine. And then you need to look at the environment that you're in as well. Blue light impacts the skin. Melanopsin is found in the fat cells, in the skin cells. And melanopsin is an opsin that basically is sensitive to blue light. So if blue light is present in your environment and you're wearing the Sleep Plus glasses after dark, if blue light's hitting your skin, you're still going to have a problem with circadian um, disalignment. Um, not so much as, it, as if it passed through your eyes. Maybe, you know, from just my opinion, maybe 90% is, is helped when you're wearing blue light glasses. Okay. And then you've got this other 10% maybe that's impacting the skin. So make sure you're covered up, you know, get a blanket over you. Long clothes is always a good idea. You can put red light bulbs into your house as well, where you can um put those on in the evening preferably in lamps um rather than overhead um just from a light angle perspective and then you know don't buy obviously the philips hue type light bulbs i've got nothing against philips but they'll run off bluetooth and emf and as your listeners will know probably not the best idea so get one that screws in flicker like low flicker low emf if you can um and also if you're going to go on your phone put it on that night shift mode like we said um, and then when you go to bed, and, and I mentioned in the first episode, 
as well that people that were sleeping with blue light present in their room or ambient blue light coming through their um, window from maybe street lights and car headlights had higher levels of insulin resistance and blood glucose levels than those that slept in complete darkness. So get yourself a hundred percent blackout sleep mask as well. Um, there's some good companies out there that do them, including blue blocks. That means you can open your eyes fully and you can, you know, still achieve a hundred percent blackout in that environment. Blackout curtains, if you wanted as well. I typically don't like them because then you don't know when the sun's rising and that can be a problem for me um, because I'll sleep in longer and I don't want to do that um, and reading lights as well like clip on reading lights that go onto your book that give out red light there's lamps you can buy that automatically give out um, red light in, in specific frequencies but what's interesting and you refer to my YouTube channel at the end of the last conversation is I've just recorded a YouTube video that will probably go out in about April time um, that's testing light bulbs that claim to be red. Okay, they look red um, and, and you go, oh yeah, brilliant, that's great. I plug them in and then test them with a light spectrometer and blue light is in them. Um, so you've got to be very careful where you buy these products from. Even if someone claims that it's a red light, ask for the spectrum test report. We put spectrum test reports for all our light products on our website. So people can go on and, and actually physically see what the test results have been. And I also test all the products live on YouTube as well. No matter what we have, um, they get tested live and then people can comment, people can ask questions, people can say, oh, can you test this and that? And then we'll test it and we'll put the videos up there and, and explain what we're doing. So yeah, those are probably the a mixture of free and obviously paid for hacks. I think one thing I'd like to caveat people um, with, with purchasing blue light glasses and, and various other biohacking products is try to avoid Amazon if you can. Um, a lot of the products on there will, you know, you might be able to pick up blue light glasses for $20, whereas you come to Blue Blocks and you're spending $100, yeah. um, you know, you think, oh, well, they're saying they're doing the same thing. In essence, they're not. Um, the amount of people that come to us and go, oh, I've bought these off Amazon and I'm not noticing a difference, will yours be any better? And we say, well, give them a go. You can just return them if you don't feel they're any better. A reporting back to us that is like, should have listened in the first place. I wasted $20 on Amazon. Now I've bought with you guys, I've had, you know, buy cheap, buy twice is, is the saying. But just make sure that you, you ask the questions. On Amazon, you won't get any response about spectrum test reports. People won't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, whereas the, the reputable companies out there will, will be able to provide that information for you. So you can, you know, make sure that you're, spending your hard-earned money on biohacking tech that actually works. Yeah, that's tremendous. Andy, this has been a great deep dive. So get more light during the day. And um, something I learned from Dr. Mercola a while back, because he's such a pioneer, is that the more sunlight, or at least in some studies, I think, I didn't review the science on this, but I think it's a general principle that was well accepted. If you get more natural sunlight during the day, you, pr you produce and release more melatonin at night. So it's all linked. You get the good stuff during yes. the day, and then you avoid the bad stuff during the night. Same thing with EMF, guys. So it's it's part of the EMF battle here. So when you use these glasses, uh, it might be a little bit more uh, visible as a, as something. But you know, you know, I got only uh, I get some stairs, but some stairs are like, oh, okay, this is looking cool. And uh, you see people like uh, Luke Story did launches his own blue blocking glasses and he's super fashionable uh and the blue blocks are super fashionable as well and more and more companies are coming up with non-geeky looking glasses and this is something i felt more comfortable with wearing these versus you know the big uvax that are pretty much like you're you're a construction worker going in the subway train in montreal at like midnight past midnight after the bar and you're like i look super dorky like what the heck is wrong with this dude i did it a few times oh. on the subway train and i was yeah. like yeah part of me is self-conscious and i i was like trying to meditate like no i don't mind people are judgmental or whatever but i was really judging myself and i couldn't do it i don't I it's not something i can work on um spiritually i guess but these look super fashionable as well and to me it's a plus i like i like style also and i like 
I don't know, feeling good about my clothing and, and everything else. So, and there's also prescriptions in them. And that's something that Blue Lux offers. Is it on all models, like the yellow, the clear, the uh, yeah. sleep plus, everything? Yeah, we are reading glasses with magnification. Any prescription is not a problem. High index okay. lenses, awesome. no issue. Um, and it's interesting you mentioned fashion as well. And, um, you know, probably my wife to thank for this because she's our creative, um, you know, uh, person I'm, I'm not i'm the science geek um and she's she's got um been approached and we've been in you know gq magazine vogue cosmo oh, wow. um so we've been in all the big publications as like you know redefining fashionable biohacking um which is great and you mentioned joe mccola as well and, and he wears our magnum sleep plus glasses the, the proper retro sort of aviator style like type one so he he loves them as as well which is which is fantastic and he's right as well you know nick um you know i mentioned briefly earlier that watching the sunrise increases serotonin levels and to to, to, to produce melatonin you have tryptophan and serotonin mixing in the gut at a very basic level. Um, but it can only do that optimally in the absence of blue and green light between 400 and 550 nanometers. So you can get all that sunlight during the day, but if you're exposing yourself to artificial light at night, you're not going to be optimizing that very much the other way around as well. If you're not watching the morning sun and you're wearing blue blockers after sunset, then you're not going to optimize melatonin production. So you need that morning sun. Joe's right. And, um, you know, if you don't get it, then you're going to produce less melatonin. And melatonin isn't just a sleep hormone. It is the most powerful antioxidant that is out there. Clears free radicals, reactive oxygen um, species. And it's the only antioxidant that doesn't itself produce reactive oxygen species during a chemical reaction. So it is 100% pure when it is clearing out all that um, inflammation in the body. So the more melatonin you get um, from being produced naturally, I, I never advocate taking melatonin supplements unless you've got a problem producing it um, that can't be fixed through light management. Um, you know, you're, you're onto a winner. The more melatonin, the higher melatonin levels at the right time of the day, the, the better your, your immune system, the, the better your um, overall health and longevity in, in, from what I'm seeing. Gotcha. Um, some some people would argue uh, against you with melatonin. I did interview uh, a doc uh, in a few episodes ago. That's very that's a big fan of high dose melatonin. Part of it is to super optimize biology. So maybe that that's a special angle, and also chronic disease man management. So, but I agree with you fundamentally. Let's let let's put it this way: if you can have natural melatonin production that is optimized through health habits that are um, compatible with ancestral living or trying to mimic yeah. ancestral living, that's, that's the way to go. More than, okay, let's use a supplement instead. That would be, okay, yeah. if you, you've already managed everything you can and then you supplement, it's like um, with EMFs, I would recommend uh, avoiding EMFs, minimizing EMFs, then there's also taking antioxidant or taking enough magnesium or kind of yeah. supplementing to kind of deal with the rest. So I guess both, both great, is valid. Yeah. It's, just, it's just very context specific. So I appreciate that you're a purist yeah. uh, like, like no, you are. Definitely, I, definitely. I, yeah. I find I that, that these are, are the most, um, you're, you're someone that is obviously very ethical and very um open-minded about the fact i mean you you're, you're almost too humble like oh there are other products out there blue blocks is great but it's true there are other products out there i find that blue blocks uh what i've seen from your company both in the reviews the support you give i had questions at one point about ordering and it's fast uh i see you coming up with new products i see you keeping very close to the science uh, I see you uh, also emulating or showing a great example of good health uh, in your approach as an entrepreneur and how you take care of your body. That's to me and following Paul Check and other mentors, uh, if you, you can yourself show that, well, I use the blockers, I follow a certain sun diet and I try to do my best to stay healthy as the CEO of a company that tries to help others stay healthy, I think it shows something. It shows that you're aligned in your values. And that's also something to me that tells me, I, I sense your energy and your, your, your vitality 
So you, you do what you talk about also. So that's a plus yeah. for me also. <laughs> I think you've got to, you've got to live and breathe it, you know, and um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. I've, I've never felt better. And, and the company was founded off me stumbling across, you know, Jack Cruz's work and um, yeah. learning from, from, from the best, you know, I've had, had the pleasure of interviewing him on, on the YouTube channel and, and, you know, he's, he's definitely a lot more humble these days in, in his delivery, which is great. Um, so I know he gets a little bit of, bit of stick sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that, yeah, exactly that. And, and, you know, I, I completely agree going back to the melatonin thing. I completely agree with what you just said from a, you know, high dose, um, perspective to treat certain conditions. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. It's a powerful antioxidant. I, I completely agree with that. I guess just to, um, surmise where I was standing on that. It was more from an everyday perspective in terms of, you know, if you can produce it fine and there's nothing wrong with you, then then kind of don't bother. Um, but if you can't produce it optimally or as, as your other guest rightly said, if there's high dose levels to treat certain cancers and other ailments, then oh, um, unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely um, get it done. So I just wanted to caveat that as well. I'm not against it. It's yeah. just, you know, I, I think, 99% of people probably don't need to do anything with it. Um, but, you know, you also have, you know, some extreme biohackers out there that stack certain supplements and swear by it because they're, they're, you know, Dave Asprey's one, you know, he yeah. is looking to massively increase his longevity. And to do that, you know, you, you've got to have some level of extreme supplementation to do it. You know, the yeah. soils are devoid of any kind of nutrients. Um, it's harder to sleep these days because of, you know, all the ambient lights around you. So melatonin might be, um, you know, something they could use to do that. But these people have heavily researched how to do it from their own N equals one perspective. Yeah. And I think you've just got to be careful when you're trying to supplement a hormone because um, that's what melatonin is. Like you're, you're almost hormone replacing in some aspects. But, you know, hormone replacement therapy for people who have issues, low testosterone, low melatonin, et cetera, things like that is, is absolutely, you know, paramount. And I think it's, it's a, great, um, a great tool to use if you understand it enough and under the right environment settings. Yeah, I agree. And in the end, I'm, I've become a little bit more prudent about recommending supplements, period. And most of the times I, I tell people, if you can afford to work with a functional medicine doctor and get tested for certain things, I know it's expensive. It's an investment. When I started doing that for my own health in uh, at the beginning of 2019, I stopped wasting a lot of money because I, let's say I steered my efforts in the wrong in, in in the wrong direction prior to that. And when I started working with Tim Jackson, I kind of he said, "Okay, Nick, you don't need to take that. You don't need. Okay, you need to take this because based on your biology, it's all about what works for you and not for." the health influencer you saw on Instagram or YouTube or, but, but generally let's say, and, and this is why also I've grown uh, a fan of using tools instead of supplements or uh, spending more on tools rather than supplements, the supplements kind of, they, you go through this, the supply and then it's gone. The blue blockers, if you take care of them, it might be years and years and years of usage. Uh, these aren't, aren't going anywhere. And for me, it's kind of a, 10 to 12 hours a day. So they're, they're, it's, it's not a lot per day. Like over the years, it would, it will have been a tremendous investment for like, I don't know, a fraction, a fraction, a fraction of a cent per day uh, in, in the next 10 years. Hopefully I can uh, keep them uh, looking very good, but I've, I, I don't even remember how, how long it's been. I had this pair and it's still impeccable. So there are also, uh, they don't scratch that much. And I, uh, I'm not, I'm not someone who, let's say is very precious with uh, the biohacking gear. Usually I, I end up breaking everything I, I get my hands on, but these are also very solid. So anyway, Andy, yeah. I want to tell you, I know you're, you're pressed on time here. Thank you for this incredible review of the solutions for blue light. I think it was uh, very balanced and very thorough. I appreciate you. Please mention your company once more, the website. And um, well, let us know anything else, any product you want to mention, event, blog post, anything you want to mention that uh, uh, might yeah. be up to date when uh, this comes out. Yeah, absolutely. So to find us, it's blueblocks.com, B-L-U-B-L-O-X.com. And um, all the products are on there, all the literature's on there, et cetera. Um, we're, 2022 is going to be very interesting for us. There's going to be a lot of changes with our company. Okay. Um, and, you know, this is just due to the, 
meteoric rise of, of everyone wanting to, to be part of that, that Blue Blocks family and um, recommendations of other products. So we're actually moving away from being a blue light glasses company. We will still offer them, um, but they will be one pillar of the overall wellness solution that we're going to be offering on our website. So we're going to be looking at you know, your, your likes of your, your EMF management, your blue light management, your lighting management, um, potentially cold therapies, potentially heat therapies. We've got red light therapy. Um, so we're going to be launching all pillars of biohacking um, and wellness solutions over 2022. So expect to see four or five different products and, and various new product categories arise over 2022. Um, yeah, that's, that's our aim, you know, that there's not really a a big, big biohacking wellness platform out there that has really optimized products. So that's what we're looking at doing at the moment. So, you know, you'll see at the moment, our light, our um, website is saying the best blue light glasses um, and eventually that will, will change probably by the middle of the year and, and you'll start seeing some other changes come through as well, um, which is very exciting for us because, um, you know, I've enjoyed speaking about light and I will continue speaking about light and it will be the core forefront of our business. But it's now time to start exploring how to manage EMS, how to manage cold therapies, um, you know, how to bring red light therapy more into people's lives to balance out some of the um, uh, some of the, the more dangerous frequencies of light, um, how to have people, you know, recovering um, better from um, performance or from injuries, from surgery. So, you know, we're going to be looking at overall health, sleep and recovery is, is probably going to be our three pillars of um of, of wellness and, and biohacking on our, on our website very soon. So it's the first, first people listening to this, are the first that we'll, we'll get to know about that. So watch this space and, and please come and subscribe to the mailing list and um, wait for further updates on, on how that's going to look for us. That's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm very excited for you, Andy. Uh, I see what you've done with uh, Blue Blockers and all the other products you have. So I'm just very excited to see what you're going to come up with. I know that it's going to be... Um, uh, bathed in uh, quality integrity and uh, style usually it's uh, that 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 combination i expect from your company so i'm very excited again blue blocks that's b l u b l o x dot com blueblocks.com you can enter nick n i c k 15 for 15 percent off that's a coupon code should be evergreen all the time as you listen to this it's in the show notes so andy thanks again for being here i'm excited you're part of the emf uh, uh summit as well and if people like this please write in the comment if you're listening to this on youtube or bit shoot uh leave a comment if there's something we didn't address andy just said uh, well maybe we're gonna come back with part three of this yeah. interview so if you have a specific question maybe something a little bit technical something a little bit geeky you want to to go deeper let us know in the comment or shoot me an email by emfguy.com andy it's been an honor a pleasure as always and i'm looking forward to our next uh, conversation together yeah me too thank you so much for having me nick it's been a pleasure thank you